All right, many of you may know Scottish actor Gerard Butler best for his role as a Spartan mm. King in the film 300, and Mike Coulter showed off his bulletproof strength starring in Marvel superhero series like Luke Cage. Okay, now Gerard and Mike are teaming up for a new action-packed thriller called Plane, and we have a sneak peek. Captain Torrance, how can I help you? Fugitive extradition. Boy, is he dangerous? What did he do? Homicide 15 years ago. I don't want to scare the rest of the passengers. I'm afraid you're stuck with us, Captain. This is your captain speaking. The seatbelt signs have been turned on. We just lost an engine. Losing altitude. This island's run by separatists and militias. Gerard and Mike, welcome in, welcome in. Y'all, I mean, just to, it's hard to believe that the plane crash isn't even the worst of no. what's going to happen. That's no, just the, the plane crash of, is nothing. That's the beginning of the nightmare. <laughs> no, yeah, exactly. That's just the start. But we don't let you off the hook with the plane crash. You really follow us through the, the whole thing, and you're you're in there with the passengers and the crew and the pilot, and we, we try to make it as realistic as possible because we all, as audience members, have imagined what, yes. what that's like. Where did you shoot this, by the way? Where were you guys? Puerto Rico. It was oh, great. It was, nice it was great. Nice to shoot. It was so hot, which is perfect for the Philippines, which is what we were trying to double for. And the, the people there, the crew was excellent. Yeah. We got the best support from them, everybody, the local um, local supporters. I mean, the great resort. We had the best time. I mean, we worked hard. Yes. We worked, yes. hard. We worked hard, okay? Yes. But, Did you but, play hard, too? But, but, no, no, I didn't, no, we had no time, really. Oh, really? Yeah. But, but the resort was weird because we'd come home, you know, you just wipe the blood off, you're exhausted, <laughs> and then you come home, and everybody else is on holiday. <laughs> Sitting by the pool, the kids are yeah. screaming, and they're drinking. My ties, my Tom team. Collins, <laughs> pina coladas. No, no, we are course. surviving a plane crash. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, what, fair. Now that you've survived one mm -hmm. via film, or we don't know if you survive, do yeah. you? What's your advice for those of us that fly? I don't. <laughs> no, 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 actually, we've talked about this a lot. Is I think we're very worried. I know the airlines are already struggling. But we don't want to put them um, in, in, in um, any more jeopardy. Uh, this typically doesn't happen. And, and if it did, can I be honest? Yeah. I wouldn't have a clue what to do. <laughs> you guys have such beautiful, beautiful speaking voices. As I'm listening to you, it just it's very soothing. But I was happy to learn that, that speaking isn't your only talent when it comes to your voices. Yeah. You're both... Singers? Uh, Wait, not, you sing in a band? You played acapella. Come on, acapella. Uh, uh, uh. We didn't get paid. I didn't get paid for it. I mean, well, being a singer and not getting paid for it doesn't really count. I, what what does, kind of music okay. did you? What Come kind on. of music did you sing, Mike? Well, back in high school and college, Boys to Men was supremely yeah, popular. Oh yeah, Boys so, to I Men. Mean, everybody. Well, End of the road. What was it? Oh, all of them. Well, End of the road. Yesterday. Oh. You have any it's, don't. You're not trying to you snap your fingers. I'm not going there. Don't you stop. Don't you don't snap your fingers. Come on, still I can. No, okay, that was oh, it. Wait, no, that no, was no. it. No, that was it. I'm not, I'm not Jerry. I'm not singing. I'm just trying. <laughs> you were in a rock band. I was in a rock band, and I played the Phantom of the Opera as well. So, um, why are you always so shy what? about so you this? Can do, you can sing like opera. I didn't. I didn't know I could. You know, I love to say I, I used to uh, love to sing in that falsetto voice just. For me, and then suddenly they said, "You want to go and sing for Andrew Lloyd Webber?" And suddenly I'm, I'm, I'm in front of the professor of, of music at the Royal Academy of Music, and I said, "I'm going to sing music of the night." Just tell me, am I wasting my time? And we finished, and she said, "You can absolutely do this. You need to learn the rules, but you, you can do How this." So nice. Yeah, so can you do awesome. it right now? I absolutely cannot. <laughs> so you guys, to get you guys are both action stars. Yes. Mm -hmm. I am. Yes, he is. <laughs> did y'all fight over who was the biggest action? Did y'all fight over who was the bigger action star? No, you know, I, I don't think. I think when we were there, I think the first thing I, I noticed with Jerry is like, okay, obviously Jerry's like this hunk of a man, right? You call him so, Jerry? Well, sometimes. Is that call me Jerry. I let him call me Jerry. He lets Jerry? Me call me Jerry. Okay. Can we call you Jerry? You can call me Jerry too. Oh. Today, only yeah. today though. After oh. the street, don't try it. Okay. <laughs> Otherwise, you sound like my mom when I'm in trouble. <laughs> but anyway, I, I saw Jerry the first time. I was peeking from behind a bush when I first <laughs> met him. He was getting out of his car at the resort, and I'm looking at, oh, there's, there's Jerry. There he is, man. Well, him up. Yeah. And then I went to the gym and started working out. <laughs> Yeah, and by the way, he did a pretty good job. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Did y'all yeah. work out together, too? Was there kind of like a little friendly competition in the gym or no? I, I, I didn't work out so much for this movie because this guy's a pilot. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. he's, not a, he's not an action guy, and, and that was kind of fun to, to play. They're just flesh and blood people. Mm -hmm. Like, we see the action part of that, but what's fascinating about the movie is when they get on to, to this, um, you know, when they get onto the island and you see, you know, this, this unlikely bond that yeah. forms between the two of us. But neither of us are perfect. You know, we make mistakes. And so I, I thought, 
thought I'd let him be the, be, be the yeah. mastermind in this. Uh, I love this. Before we go, guys, um, Mike, I did not know that you are related to one of our favorite yes. people in the world, Viola Davis. Well, she's one of everyone's favorite people in the world. But, but how are you, your cousins? Yeah, cousins, yeah, cousins. How, how, did, you, um, how did you learn about that? I, I was well into my teenage years. I'd heard about her, you know, through my family because the family actually still lives in the small town where I'm from. And I'd heard about her and I'd already, you know, decided I was going to be an actor long ago when I was kind of in college. And by the time I started studying at Rutgers, she was just her career was taking off. And it was just one of those things like everyone else. I was did a fan of her. you ever say, help me? No, never did. <gasps> never did. I, I, I'm not a person from, you know, believing yeah. in nepotism. I think you do your own thing. You chart your own course. And yeah. You, and you see what you can do on your own. I don't I don't do that. But are you all pals? Me while you, really? you had no, no. idea? No, no, no. And by the way, talking about action stuffs, I think she showed she's the real yeah, action yeah, star. The yeah, woman exactly. King. Woman King. yeah, the woman king was awesome. Wow. Well, you guys, thank you guys awesome. for being with us. We appreciate you. Yeah, this is uh, such a fun, fun film, and you're going to want to go see it in the theaters. Plane, it hits theaters tomorrow. <laughs>